Okay, we're here with uh, Tom from yep. Pride Marine Group at uh, the 2013 uh, boat show and we're going to go through the Ski Natik boat. So yep. let's start with this one right behind us and right. give us the lowdown. Absolutely. Well this boat here is uh, Natik's crossover boat so it's yep. going to it's going to let you do the water skiing and the wakeboarding and the wake surfing and all that and it's going to be kind of the one boat in the market that you can find that's going to do the best of best of both worlds, right? Best of both worlds. So yeah, yeah. it throws out a competitive level water yep. ski wake and it also once you fill up the ballast tanks it's going to be a good wakeboard wake and you can surf behind it too. So it's kind of one one of the first boats that's really competitive level on both surfing and skiing, which is a hard thing to find. And the ballast tanks, how much water do they hold? Um, uh, I believe they hold around 800 pounds. 800 pounds, um, yep. And then it's, you can always throw a couple more fat sacks in on your own dime. Kind of right. thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so and then we'll walk over here to the yep. 210. The 210 is kind of the staple in wakeboarding. So it's, uh, it's 21 feet. It's a little bit bigger for sure. Uh -huh. um, it's going to give you, I mean, I'll hop inside the boat oh, and I'll show you a couple, Absolutely. couple things. Hands on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. So it's got a really cool uh, seating configuration. It's designed by the riders for the riders kind of thing. Yep. So this seat here, you can pop down. So then you have your social seating, so that's kind of cool. That's important. Um, yeah, one thing uh, that Nautique does really well is they think about the riding, right? So it's not just not just for hanging out and cruising. You don't have to sit back here and do this to watch your friends. So they uh, have this option if you hold the mic for one yeah, sec for me. Yeah, absolutely. Seat folds down. Switch around. Holy moly. So Clickety have, click. Yeah, exactly. So then, <laughs> then you have one, two, three, four, five, six if you want to get pushing it, but and then seven, seven people facing backwards watching the action behind the boat. So that's uh, one of the things Nautique does really well. They really have this um, versatile seating arrangements. Yeah. Awesome for the riding. Awesome for cruising as well. Um, other than that, this this is uh, just kind of the, the the good base boat for wakeboarding. The 210's kind of been around for a lot lot of years. Haven't changed the hull. It's an uh, awesome boat. Throws up a wicked wake. Has the same thing. A little bit more bow. 1,600 pounds, I believe, in this one. Yep. Two in the back. One up the belly. It's going to throw a sweet wakeboard wake, and it's going to give you uh, the cruising ability as well. Nice. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we'll hop on over here to the 230. I'll just jump out the front. <laughs> so here we have our Canadian edition 230. It's got the... Uh, Canadian flag there. That's important. It's all, yeah, it's all custom. Uh, Pride worked with Nautique directly to get this done for, for the boat show. So it's a boat show special. You can't get it any other time. It's a uh, limited edition. So you don't want too many of them out there. It's kind of a cool, unique thing to have. And it's uh, it's been pretty hot. This boat already sold. And uh, people are loving it. People are sticking their heads in this thing. So um, special gel coat. It's all uh, the, dot, the metal flake, metal flake tower, which you can't get stock. This was specially done for this boat only. Oh, wow. um, so yeah, they got it pretty pimped out, that's for yeah, sure. That <laughs> and if you want to hop inside, you can see a lot of little details in this boat. Um, they obviously kept it red, white, and brown, keeping the Canadian theme. Yep. Um, there's a little decal right there on the swim platform, Canadian flag. Uh, good as well. Yeah, these are, these are insulated coolers here. Yep. Well, that one is, and then this one goes to the storage. Um, hop in the boat, nice walkway through the middle. Huge. Yeah, this one's 23 feet. It's uh, substantially larger than the the 21 footer, and in, in kind of the space that you feel. Obviously, yeah, yeah. it's only two feet bigger, but they they really make it feel a little bit more roomy inside. So if you want to hop in, be uh, you got an awesome decal on the floor there. If you can get get your angle on that, it's uh, that was custom done for this. Nautique again worked with Pride and uh, made this happen. So that's pretty awesome. Definitely not something you find in every boat. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Lots of little details, uh, stitching here around the Nautique, same right here on the Nautique, at the back, custom little things like that. They're, uh, they, you know, they're just the nice little touches that make that different, make it special, right? Yeah. Oh, um, absolutely. That attention to detail, man. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, this boat's rated for 16 people, so you can get uh, you in the neighborhood out. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you know, it's a party. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, you got lots of cool features, cooler under the seat. Yeah, yeah. Always, always fun. Um, you can take your non-alcoholic beverages out on the water. Of course, with you. <laughs> absolutely. Um, this one's got the team edition, so it's upgraded to the link, the link system here. Okay. So everything is controlled through that screen. You, other than starting your boat, you punch in your numbers here, press start, everything else on the screen there. So that's going to be your gauges, your ballast tanks, your music, 
all the bells and whistles all right there. Really cool. And we've gone with a, a non-touchscreen system. You often find other boat shows, or other companies at the boat show rather, they have touch screens in their boat and they look really cool. And I'm like, I'll give them that. They look really cool in the boat show, but when you get out on the water, the practicality of them is you're bouncing up and down on waves. It's not that easy, yeah, to, exactly. it's not that easy to hit uh, hit the buttons. So Nautique's option to go with the buttons on the side and uh, everyone's loving it. It's working really well. It's an right. awesome system. Um, other than that, I mean, this is the 230. It's been around for a couple of years. It's uh, kind of the big boy wakeboarding has mm -hmm. been from the past. This year, Nautique came out with the G-Series boats over there. So uh, they're new this year. They're kind of the big thing. Everyone's wanting to get one of those. They have a huge wake, awesome for wake surfing. And hop into one of those and check it out. You got it. Um, yeah, we're moving off to the G23. Yep, on, on to the G23 oh, yeah. we go. This one too, sold. <laughs> sold, yeah. <laughs> They're flying out of here. People <laughs> no are loving kidding. them. So before we even hop in here, it's a cool little feature I like. There's a fully insulated cooler there. So if you pull the boat up on your beach or something, or you're hanging out swimming in the water, you can grab a drink from back there. Yep. Um, same kind of concept. There's a stereo um, control there. Yep. So you can control the, the music when you're on the swim platform in the lake, whatever. So if you're going to go out and ride and your song you come on, just comes on that you don't like, give it a little switch and jump in the water, find something more your riding style. Um, nice big walkthrough, which is awesome. And then uh, one thing that I like about this is you pop these open, huge storage. You can, look, you can take a, get, I've been having kids jumping here all week and disappearing on me, that's so big. It's almost up to my waist. Oh, easy. Yeah, so that's pretty cool feature of this boat, so much storage. Um, another thing that's kind of neat, there's the pads in there, so if you like to do, you got a girlfriend or a wife that likes to go out and tan on the back of the boat, you just throw those pads in there, you got a filler right. cushion, yeah. yep, they're just hiding down there, and uh, flip these down, you can lie, lie across and catch some, catch some rays. There you go. Absolutely. So Wait, how about on the business end, what do we got in for a motor? Oh, on this, this one? one's got a 450 in it, I can lift it up, you might pop this up, Jesus. there you go, 450 PCM motor. Best of the best. You can upgrade to a 550, which is going to give you a little extra power, but uh, the 450 definitely does does its job in this boat. That's for sure. No kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So you can we'll throw this down, and I'll show you some some of the cool features in this boat. Yeah. We're just getting started. So, again, like in the 210, I showed you the versatile seating. Right now, we got. Got room to hang out, sit back, relax, hang out with the friends. It's very, very social. But when it comes to riding time, yeah. you're gonna want to watch the action, right? So, same concept over here. This sits up. Um, so you got one person there. This one's a little easier. You don't have to pull the seat out. All you do is lift it up by this handle, give it a tug, drop it into place. Boom. There you go. Convenient. Yeah, exactly. All you guys now you can watch the action behind the boat. That's one of the huge things I love about what Nautique's doing in their boats. Just making it for the riders, by the riders, and it's, uh, you know what, it, it, you really notice these details when you're out on the water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it's nice. Throw that back down. Super easy to put away. Same thing, there you go. You're back to the normal, right? No, f no fiddling around. Um, another thing, this storage here is oh. ridiculous. <laughs> you could go in there and have a nap. No kidding. Yeah, and it goes all the way through. Let you take a look at that, and then right at the back there, you got your monster subwoofer. Serious, uh, serious storage in there. Serious <laughs> sound in there as yeah, well. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, so here we got some more storage options here. Uh, let's see. So both sides, they're all finished underneath the actual, the fat sacks are underneath there. Um, so that's where your ballast is, mm -hmm. and you can get to it f through those holes. Um, it's uh, so everyone's loving it. You can put wakeboards in there if you need to. You keep life jackets, keep whatever you want. But there's definitely no lack of storage in this boat. That's for sure. None whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, one of my favorite details. Oh. Cooler on the floor. Boom. <laughs> and it keeps coming and coming. Yeah. And this, so it's a full size cooler you can put in there, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And the, the whole thing is insulated as well. So if you wanted to, you could get rid of the cooler, throw some ice in there. Throw your drinks in there, it's gonna stay cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All drains through the bottom, out through the bilge. So uh, that's one of the nice things. So when you got friends in, there you go. Those handles actually go up. Yeah, sorry about that. 
So that's one of the nice things. When you're in the boat hanging out with your friends, you don't have to go, hey, can you get up? I got to get something from under you. I got to get a drink from under you. You just lift that up. Everyone's sitting down. There you go. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> How about on the can console side here? Yeah, we can jump over here and uh, take a look at the seat at the driver's seat what they got going here so again same concept this is the link system this comes standard in all the g23s all the g25s it's going to be everything so i'll run you through it a little more start it up you get to your home screen so you got your speed your fuel down here all your gauges your battery all that good stuff you can easily change the volume on whatever you're listening to speed control on speed control off yeah. all that good stuff next thing gps system so this way you can see where you are on the lakes, you're out on a big open water, super handy to have, just takes a second to load up here, I w we won't wait for it, but it's awesome, awesome system, you can track where you've been, where you're going, all that good stuff. Here's the, uh, the Clarion radio, it's, uh, it's bumping in here when you get all the speakers, for sure, you can uh, keep the, wake, or the, the lake awake, that's for sure. <laughs> Next up, you got your user. This is one cool thing that um, the Link system incorporates is what it is. You can set a user. So let's say if I wanted to create one for myself, new user, type in my name, Tom. I can choose how full I want each ballast tank yeah. when I ride and how what speed I want to go, where I want the, the plate at the back, which alters the shape of the wake. And then that way, if someone gets in the boat, like my mom, and she doesn't like my settings, I just I don't have to try to go behind the boat and if I were to go faster or slower. Now she just goes in here, types in my name, clicks it on, clicks on. All my system, all my uh, my settings automatically load up. So my ballast tanks fill up to the percentages that I like them. Speed's locked into how I like it. I don't have to be yelling at my mom from behind the boat telling her to change something up. Yeah, exactly. Really cool feature. Um, here we got, next up, we got your lights. Oh, you know what? This is a, uh, there we go. So we'll go, you got your lights, all that kind of stuff. There's some sweet lights, f docking lights in the front. I'll flick those on, you'll see. They'll shine right on the back of that poster. LED docking lights. If you're coming in at night, yeah. these things light it up. You're not going to be running into any docks, that's for sure. Tons of, uh, tons of visibility with those things. Um, there's underwater lights on this boat, all kinds of cool stuff. Really cool. Jeez, yeah, on this actually you have a heater as well. So you, cold mornings when you're out riding, pull this guy out. Right here, you're get, you're keeping nice and toasty. So, wow. There's, there's a, <laughs> yeah, and there's a couple of those throughout the boat. There's one down here as well. Um, they're they're pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you got ballast tanks on here too. All the good stuff, all the fun, all the bells and whistles. And then here, nice little glove box for for the driver. You can throw your phone in there. It's all water protected. So there's not going to get water in there if it just gets splashed on. Yeah. So super handy. You also got some connections in here for one of the coolest features on the boat, I think. If you uh, take a look back up at the tower, where you put the rope, you got a video camera. So that thing is going to follow the rope as it goes side to side, follow the rider. Video stream plays right through your screen. Very cool feature, yeah. That is smart, I Yeah. following the rope. Yeah, exactly. So falls the rope, you're never going to lose the rider. Right angle, yeah. yeah, exactly. Super cool. Um, here we got our tower speakers. As you can see, these things are bumping. <laughs> if it's anything like that subwoofer we saw earlier. Yeah, the two of them go hand in hand, right? So this, one's, yeah. this is going to be one loud boat if you want it to be, for sure. We'll move up to the front. Um, this is a nice little feature here. Pop this out door to a trash can. So when you got a bunch of buddies in the boat and they have a bunch of garbage, yeah. easily just throw your garbage away. Empty coke can. Yeah, sure. exactly. Then we got our bow up here, huge bow. So yeah, if you want to have a seat there, you yeah. can uh, see how comfy it is. Well, no doubt, dude. I'm 6'2", <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I sit here no problem. No e problem whatsoever. Exactly. Fully extend your legs out. They've uh, designed it so it's tons of room. Get You get two people up here, no problem, sitting like this, lounging on the lake, and you can have another one sitting back watching the action behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And these come out, too, also, if you want to sit around in a little more of a circle. Yeah. It's uh, super versatile, again, like all the seating in the back. Very comfortable. Very rider-oriented. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Indeed. I was just noticing the cup holders here. You got oh, that's one, right. Two, three, four, five, six, eight cup holders. Eight up front. cup holders up front. So I mean, there's you're not gonna have any problem finding somewhere to put your, your drink, drink. That's for sure. <laughs> or two or three drinks. Yeah, exactly. If you're du tr double and triple fisted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you'll just notice 
all the little details in the Nautique G23. Yeah. Nautique thought everything through. Everything's super sleek. They try to keep it super stylish as well. I love how this boat turned out. Everyone's been loving how yeah. this boat's turned out. Even all with all the uh, you know the attention to detail, but with the stitching and the uh, the leather. Well, not quite leather. I'm not quite sure what this is, but uh, it, it's very nice yeah. looking. Yeah, the vinyl is awesome. Vinyl, and yeah. one of the thing you'll notice with the Nautiques that they do that some of the other companies aren't doing is all their stitching. It's not your standard cotton stitching. It's all none of it absorbs water, so you can sit here and pour Kool Aid on the seats, on the vinyl, wipe it off. There's not gonna be spots in your stitching where you can see something's been spilled on. So it's super easy to keep clean, lasts a long time. The little details like that is what kind of separate Nautique from the rest, right? Yeah. And then uh, over here, finally, we have the G25, which uh, is also, also sold. This one went the first <laughs> night. Someone came in, they liked the colors. They uh, said, where do I sign? <laughs> So this this boat essentially is exactly the same thing as the G23. Yep. It's just two feet larger. So there's a little more room in the middle, a little more in the front. The G23 sits 16. This one's 619. Just in case you have a couple extra friends. Yeah, you know, I, I don't even think I have that many friends to take out with me in the boat. But if you can find them, I'm sure with a boat like this, they'll come running. <laughs> You'll be making yeah. new friends all over the place. Outstanding. Well, Tom, thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Thanks that was a me. fantastic uh, show there with the Teak. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Happy to do it.